In this video, I want to talk about how you can think about trigonometry. The suggestions that follow apply to other areas too, but they are particularly helpful in areas that have a lot going on, so to speak. You might ask, should I memorize? The answer is no. You should remember though. Of course, now you might ask, if I shouldn't memorize, how can I be expected to remember? And the answer is that you should use. For example, if you can't remember sine of pi over 2 when you need to use it, simply look it up. Every time you need it, look it up. Eventually, you'll no longer need to look it up, and it will be more firmly in your memory than it would be if you tried to memorize it out of context. You might also ask, how can I be expected to remember and understand the relationships among the trigonometric functions? And the answer is, every time you use a trigonometric function, think about something connected to it. For example, if you need to use sine of x, sketch a graph of it to remind yourself of the shape. Then sketch a graph of the closely related function cosine of x. This will not only be good graphing practice, but it will help you understand the similarities and differences between these two functions. This is even more important when you need to deal with a trig function you find less familiar. For example, if you encounter cosecant of x, with which most students are less familiar than with sine of x, you should sketch a graph of cosecant of x and a graph of sine of x to remind yourself of their relationship. You might ask, how can I remember the trigonometric identities? And the answer, which is similar to one we saw before, is that you should look them up whenever you need them. Just as with trig function values, you'll eventually stop needing to look them up. And just as you should be in the habit of graphing, you should also be in the habit of seeing alternative ways of writing trig expressions. For example, if you see cosine squared x, get in the habit of making a mental note that this is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. Finally, you might ask, how can I be expected to do this for every problem? And the answer is that none of this should take very long, especially once it becomes habit. If you need to look up something, do so, and then take a moment to graph or mentally rewrite something. These small steps, if done regularly, will pay off greatly.